when my dad was 78, he got a cancer diagnosis and was told that he had two years to live. That was accurate. He died at the age of 80. I often think back over those two years and how my dad dealt with the gradual decline in his energy, in his mobility. And I'm often really, really struck by how at each stage, as he got weaker and weaker, he came to accept each level and not fight it. You know, he tried to move as long as he could, he tried to get up from bed as, as long as he could. But then when he would realize this is not possible anymore, then he found a way of coming to terms with that and coming to be at peace with that. And uh, I admired him so much. I admired the way he lived through those two years, lived fully through those two years, uh, right up to the last days. I remember one of the last things he did was to watch a championship of snooker, which he loved. He was a county champion at snooker himself. But Randy O'Sullivan was playing magical, the game. And uh, Dad was totally captivated by, by Ronnie's play. And it was that, you know, what he could do, he did and did fully right up to the end. And um, I suppose it teaches me a fair bit about life and, you know, the things that we're faced with, the struggles that we're faced with. And do we keep fighting in a way that destroys our own peace and the peace of those around us? Yes, we need to keep going and do what we can do. But the fighting that goes nowhere is a real question and that's 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 one of the lessons one of the gifts he gave me and i remember when dad died the moment of his death we were blessed that we were all around his bed you know holding him my two sisters my brother and my mother and the gr greatest conviction came to me i need never fear death again Dad has shown me how to die. And I'd like to finish by quoting from a passage from Tayard de Chardin, a, from the Divine Milieu. And I have to say this was of enormous help to me in coping with my dad's decline, our grieving before he died, knowing that we were losing him but also when it came to losing my mother many years later. Uh, and even it helped me a lot in terms of my attitude to my own aging and sickness at times. It, instead of fighting it and judging it and you know, being ashamed to be sick or being ashamed to be aging, this gave me a perspective that I don't always tune into, but it does help me when I do. And I'd like to finish by reading it for you. When the signs of age begin to mark my body and still more when they touch my mind, when the ill that is to diminish me or carry me off strikes from without or is born within me, when the painful moment comes in which I suddenly awake to the fact that I am ill or growing old, and above all, at that last moment, when I feel that I am losing hold of myself and am absolutely passive within the hands of the great unknown forces that have formed me. In all those dark moments, O God, grant that I may understand that it is you who are painfully parting the fibres of my being in order to penetrate to the very marrow of my substance and bear me away within yourself. The more deeply and incurably the evil is encrusted in my flesh, 
the more it will be you that I am harbouring, you as a loving, active principle of purification and detachment. The more the future opens before me like some dizzy abyss or dark tunnel, the more confident I may be if I venture forward on the strength of your word, of losing myself and surrendering myself in you, of being assimilated by your body, Jesus. So as I would often drive down to my parents' home, knowing that the, 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 the years were passing and it was getting closer and closer to my father's death, instead of cursing the illness, judging it or wishing it away, I found myself thinking of Tayar de Sharda and that the fibres of my dad's being, of his body and spirit, were being, as it were, opened up, disentangled and being woven back into the mystery of God. And in some way that was of great comfort to me. And it is still to me in terms of my own self as I age, as I get aches and pains, as I struggle. Instead of sort of judging that, to see that as this is God's work and God is separating the fibres of my being from my life in this world and integrating me back into the great tapestry of the mystery of God. I hope that's of help to you. God bless.